Hey guys, so a few weeks ago on my blog I talked about the release of a new brand under the Sundial brands that the people who make Shea Moisture and Nubian Heritage and they have a new brand called Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture. So the line is named obviously in honor of Madam CJ Walker, first female millionaire. If you want to learn more about the brand itself and all the different lines, feel free to check out the link to my blog post down below. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the products from the line that is made for our type of hair. Your type of hair, my type of hair. So that's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Muru Muru lines. It's the yellow line. This is not a sponsored video. Jesus just loves me. <laughs> I was gracious enough to be sent some of their products by the brand. So I was sent the clarifying shampoo, the co-wash, the leave-in detangler, the twist lock and seal lotion, and of course the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So I'm gonna be talking about how I used those five products to achieve this look. So if you're interested to see whether or not I liked all the products, none of the products, some of the products, why I'm wearing this fabulous hat and not showing you the rest of my hairstyle, definitely keep watching the rest of the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that subscribe button. Not hit that subscribe button. If anybody, hit that subscribe button. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, and if you think my hat is cute and you want one for yourself, it's from Target, y'all. Target. And my lip color. It's time for me to go. Keep watching the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. See you later. So I'm starting off with pretty tangled hair. This is just the flat twist updo that I got done by Tress Noir. The link is right there. So I'm wetting my hair to try to get some of the tangles out before shampooing with the Pure Clarifying Shampoo with Apple Cider Vinegar. It is sulfate free, deep cleansing, and it will strip your hair because it is definitely clarifying. My hair was stripped dry and extra clean extra extra clean so here's where things got interesting the next product i used was the ultra moisturizing co-wash and the instructions say to apply use a wide tooth comb to detangle if needed and rinse with cool water i applied i applied some more i tried to detangle and it just would not work to the point where i got confused because i thought that i was using a conditioner and it didn't occur to me that it was more of a cleanser than it was a conditioner so after struggling for a really long time, I decided to give it up. I washed the co-wash out of my hair and then used the Clairol Hair Food that I talked about in a previous empties video and used that to actually condition and detangle my hair. And luckily that did the trick and my hair was soft and manageable but I did make the mistake of using the co-wash as if it is a conditioner. And while it may detangle some people's hair, it did not detangle my hair. So after a few minutes of drying my hair with a t-shirt, I used the Ultra Moisturizing Detangler on each section. I finger detangled quickly and then used a wide tooth comb and combed through my hair. I will say that the detangler did work pretty well without me needing to layer tons and tons of product on it. I love the consistency, not too watery, not greasy, and it has a very very light smell, kind of like cologne. I followed up with the Twist Lock and Seal Lotion, which I was probably pretty heavy handed with. The directions do say to work a small amount into sectioned hair. I probably worked a large amount into sectioned hair and you'll see a little bit later. Once I took down my braids, there were flakes everywhere. So I definitely recommend not using too much of the Twist Lock and Seal Lotion when styling your hair. There is another styling product in the collection. It's called the Defining Butter Cream. So if you're looking for serious, serious hold, you might want to check out that product. I do think that this had pretty good hold and definitely did lock in that moisture. Once I braided my hair all up, I applied some of the Jamaican Black Castor Oil in my fingertips and then massaged it through my scalp and along the lengths of my twists and then let them dry overnight. The next morning I took down my braids. They had magically completely dried <laughs> and I just started braiding. I don't know why I did these braids so darn small. I don't usually do braids this small so it kind of did take me forever to take down. And as I said earlier, I had flakes flying every single way. Like my shirt was covered in flakes by the time I was done taking this down. But my hair was really, really defined. So the Twist Lock and Seal Lotion does have a good bit of hold in it, which is great for twist outs or braid outs. My hair isn't as shiny as I would have liked from these products, but they didn't promise any shine. They just promised maximum moisture. And I do think that this is a very moisturizing line. So the reason why I ended up wearing the hat is because the front of my hair is just so, so sad. And it is growing, but it just still makes me a little sad. So I just covered it up for the rest of the video. 
If you want to see how this style progresses, make sure that you follow me on my other social media channels, especially Instagram, because that's where I post the most. <laughs> so you can find me there at Classy Kink. See you next time. This is first impressions of the Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Murumuru Oils lines. That was like the longest intro of life. And I just burped. Sorry.